the US is making Hong Kong a case study for the media, trying to manage the narrative to show just how evil China is and how bad the Hong Kong government is since the handover, right? And this is complete hypocrisy. If the media were honest in their reporting, then you would see as much coverage about the Gilets Jaunes in France as you have of the Hong Kong situation. You would have coverage of Extinction Rebellion in the UK where the police are raiding the property of Extinction Rebellion before they've gone on any marches. So th there is a hypocrisy here, especially in the mainstream Western media, to propagandize by leaving out information, by not reporting things. So there's a whole narrative management thing that is going on and the, the troubles in Hong Kong are really convenient for that. Yeah, th this is the story they want to portray, that, that Hong Kong was perfectly fine until after 1997. Look at Hong Kong, the people are unhappy, they, they are protesting and it's got to the point of violence. This just proves that one country, two systems doesn't work, right? So that is a narrative that suits the Western mainstream media who, for whatever reason, have a view that, that China is really evil. This is sort of a story they want to sell, and it's completely untrue. I've been in China, I've lived in China for decades, and anything that shows China as being the evil empire is fundamentally wrong. It is a lie, it is untrue. You have Chris Patton criticizing Hong Kong, yet Chris Patton was the, the one person who began to bring democracy to Hong Kong after almost a hundred years of never give democracy to Hong Kong people. Democracy, if you look at what's happening in the US, the politicians are full of hypocrisy. Okay, the UK, they're full of hypocrisy. I think across the board, anybody who cares for Hong Kong, anybody who wants the best thing for Hong Kong people should condemn violence, should not engage in violence, should not glorify violence, and should actively start to look for ways to create bridges and conversation and dialogue where we can solve these problems.